this is V Diamond in the Rough. How are you guys doing? Have you missed me? <laughs> um, I will say I've I'm not sure whether I could say that I've missed doing videos. Um, I will say I've missed contacting and talking and getting to know you guys and sharing things. Um, so oh, come on, open up. Did that work? Yeah, that did work. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I've started actually going and doing smaller sections um, of... Uh, and, I mean, being rounds, they go quick anyway. Uh, um, and I'm still... So I will say I have miss being in contact with you guys and sharing i have been diamond painting without doing any recording so you know i've had a little bit of a relax of, from diamond painting uh, where i'm talking and uh, recording um, and sharing with you guys and i get there and i think uh, i feel guilty because i'm not sharing because i love sharing with you guys um, but then it's like I've gone to do videos and it's like I'm not up for talking. Um, so I'm actually now <laughs> going to give another go of getting into the swing of things. I've planned out a couple of things I have to do for you guys. Not have to, want to do. Um, as a little update, I want to I want to do some resin work. I'm just struggling with. Um, well, I haven't received. Due to the um, coronavirus, I haven't received uh, my my subscri subscription kit from February, and I haven't received my subscriptions from for March. But I wouldn't expect March for another uh, week. So, um, so there's some more resin work that I want to get in and do. Then um, I want to go through and do a video that shows you the different storage containers because I've got a range. I've got the Craftmates lockables. I've got the Elizabeth Ward or the Doris storage containers. I've got Harbour Freight. Thank you, Cindy B. I've got um, the round cylinders, um, so the 60 bottle diamond paint, uh, 60 bottle containers and Excuse the noise while I get my colours out. Um, and just the round containers, which is what I started out with at the very beginning. Okay, um, so yeah, that's something I want to do. I have said that I'm going to do a non no sew um, a pillowcase with a diamond painting and I think they're teased <laughs> um, hang on while I just find my teas um, yeah my no so pillowcase uh, a cushion I should say that's uh, uh, I've just all I have to do is go to the shops and get the glue. That's all I have to do. Nothing major. Um, but even just going to the shops is a struggle. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah. There's a few other things that I want to get to and do and share with you guys. But um, it's just getting the mine is just getting the motivation, <coughs> um, which is no. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, excuse me, I do have a. It feels like a lurgy, but it may not be. But today is a whip and chat. And the other day, I. Oh mm, gosh, that camera's in the wrong spot. The other day, or oh, week, or whatever it was, I did say that we were going on a camping trip. Which was. What's today? Today's Wednesday. Which is, well, Friday a week ago we went camping. Um, 
So I thought I'd take you through that camping trip, um, share with you some of the things that happened, um, and share with you some of a little little section of um, Australia. Uh, for those of you in that are not in Australia, you know it, it's nice to share and um, show parts of the the country that people don't see much of anyway. Um, because we four wheel drive, you know, not, <laughs> and you will see due to the videos, um, not everybody goes where we go. Um, yeah, there was a few people out this week that weekend because it was a long weekend, um, but Nathan had the Friday off. He had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday off as my standard rostered days off. So for us, it was easy to do the trip. Um, we did go with one of uh, Nathan's mates, well, two of Nathan's mates. Um, one of them, his wife, because it was uh, Friday she couldn't get the time off and she had some other stuff to do she had an AGM because she's a president of an AGM for well believe it or not guinea pigs she's she's big into showing um, going to shows with her guinea pigs and she's won lots of competitions um, but yeah so that's uh, we so we went with him um, and normally his wife and her daughter come along uh, we also went with um, another guy which we've gone camping with quite a quite a bit but uh, he works with Nathan but not full-time uh, so yeah that's just a little um, bit you know my first camping trip with Nathan was actually with uh, those two guys plus obviously his uh, Aaron's mate's wife um, so you know it's we've been camping quite a bit with in the with the, those three vehicles anyway um, just a couple of people missing which um, was well a couple of people missing was semi-enjoyable you know I miss the female company of of um, his mate's wife um, but I didn't miss the, the constant chatter um, from both her, her daughter <laughs> and Aaron's mate who doesn't stop talking, he's non-stop, uh, which yeah. So um, where we went to was uh, in the southwest. Um, I will put signs up. I can't pronounce the name properly. Um, Dante Castro um, was where we went. Um, windy around Windy Harbour. So um, I will. I think I'll, I'll try and put a map up so you can see. Actually, I can put a map up showing where we went uh, because what we well I got Nathan for. A, for his birthday was what's called a three what was it it was a three spot gen well, which is actually um, an e -perb for emergencies so when, he, when we go out for all driving in remote locations if we have an issue um, we can te we can send a message to our family to say uh, we're he this is where we are and we're bogged we need help <laughs> something like that or you know something you know something's happened we need help and this is where you need to cut where we need you to go to, to this is where we are to, for help uh, because where we go camping and four-wheel driving there's quite a few occasions where we don't have mobile phone service um, so you know it's it's a safety thing um, and when we go um, we do our big trip in July um, that's what's going to, if we have any issues, that's what's going to help us. Um, because there is also a button that uh, sends to emergency and it will send them our coordinates. It won't say what's wrong, but it sends them to the uh, coordinates and um, 
basically that search that search and rescue uh, that's uh, helicopters or whatever wherever it is um, they come to us to our location to where the GPS says we are um, but part of that we can actually record um, and transmit our location every five ten minutes onto a website and we can share that so that people can see um, where we are so that's what I will show you a picture of that shows all the points that we stopped at or we didn't stop but where we had whoop, now they went the wrong colour um, where we were at five, min, five minute intervals um, and it's quite interesting I'll narrow it down and show you um, close up of where we were when we were four wheel driving because we travel not as fast when you're four wheel driving <coughs> mm. so uh, yep yeah, we went down south west of Australia um, and I will say that you know for, for you guys that not just the US people the Aussie people you know over in the eastern states these are places that you don't get to see very often uh, but yeah so we drove down <laughs> it well we, the day started out with me coming home from night shift so I got home around about the seven o'clock mark and Nathan's not out of bed but because I got home he got out of bed and he went radio you go to bed and get some sleep otherwise you're going to be grouchy <laughs> which is true I get very grouchy when I don't get enough sleep especially when we go camping <laughs> oh gosh do I get grouchy when camping <laughs> when I'm tired um, but I turned around and I actually had a few things I needed to do hang on just making sure I've just spotted an F in there I think that's an F. Hang on. Yes, that's an F. Um, yeah, so I've had to do a couple of things to make sure because he was going to pack the vehicle up while I was having my sleep. But I just need a few few more things added to um, my. I, I just need to get a couple of things so that he these things weren't left behind, just some essential little things that don't live permanently in our camp kit. Um, so yeah, we did that and I went to bed and I woke up at 12 o'clock. We were supposed to leave at 12 o'clock. No, I woke up at 11.30 and we were supposed to leave at 12 o'clock. And um, yeah, I still had to pack our clothes and our toiletries because uh, we've got a portable, sh well not shouldn't say portable, but we've got a hot water system attached to the vehicle so we can have we have fresh showers um, uh, so yeah it's just get, getting the toiletries together because obviously I was having a shower before we went camping uh, yeah um, so yeah we drove down in well we left late but then Nathan's mate one of Nathan's mates still hadn't finished work he had a meeting he had to go to uh, so went down to we we took off and met with uh, one of the guys down at a what they call a service center where there's a um, for us we call it a service center but it's a service station with um, restaurants in it so there's some that have got like KFC and some are Macca's excuse me while I just get rid of that notification. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, there we go. That should stop those things from coming up. Okay. Um, so you met him, met one of the guys there, and then so we ordered we sit down and eating and uh, Nathan's mate gives us the one that was running late gives us a call and he was on his way uh, he wasn't far from where we were so we enjoyed our snack of while well, we had pies 
<clears throat> I had a garlic prawn pie while we were there. And I tell you what, it's confusing. Because garlic prawns in pies just wasn't right. Uh, so, yeah, wasn't really that enjoyable. Because it just messed with the head. Um, hang on, any more teas? I think I've got all the teas. Yep. Okay. So what we did, so we met up, so it was ended up with all three vehicles were there. Uh, and so we went from there and we headed further south. arrows down there's arrows up while I'm doing this I'm not contemplating on arrows down and up I will not get it right uh, that's the heart one bear with me guys uh, the heart one I do believe is the 348 yep okay so yeah we we took off um, Nathan fueled up there I Aaron's well Nathan's one of them, just changing into a smaller tray. Um, Nathan and one of his mates fueled up there. The other one fueled up at a place called Donnybrook because he knew the people there. Uh, and so we stopped at Donny. We fueled up and then we stopped at Donnybrook for his mate to fuel up. And I took a little picture of this little guy sitting that. They have these little characters out there. Um, Donnybrook is uh, mainly or or orchards, not orchids, orchards. Um, and they have beautiful apples and fruit and that. But this is a little picture of a guy with them. Um, he was a, an apple head person. I thought it was cute. Uh, I th think I might actually have the picture where it shows fuel. If it's there, I'll show you the cost of fuel. Um, but yeah, so from there we fueled up. Well, uh, one of the guys fueled up. And I'm having struggle with referring to the guys without using their names because I don't want to use their names. Um, fueled up and we took off and it was a fairly long drive I didn't take much in the way of photographs it was just you know it was just a drive but it took us from when we left home to we got to our campsite and started setting up it was like four hours um, three hours was on main roads and an hour probably an hour on uh, dirt tracks uh, so yeah that was that was fun uh so they went we went to a place we were looking for a place called uh fisherman fish fish hut or fisherman's hut um i do have pictures of it which we visited the on our first full day so i'll tr show you that when when we get there um but we ended up at finding a campsite a grassed area that was quite big um, to basically pitch our tent so I will show you a picture of uh, the and I'll tr I will pull that picture up for myself to look at um, what you'll see is at the back there's a swag that was as that's got something pick on pink on it that was the swag so that's what we slept in uh, and then you've got closest to you on the left is actually uh, Nathan's car with his drawer pulled out that's got the stove attached to it. Uh, so yeah, that was it that night before we got, before the campsite got really crowded with chairs because you can see there's no chairs there. Uh, <clears throat> chairs were all out of the way. But that's where we, that's, that's at night time, so we've got a lot of light there. Um, yeah, so the, we, you know what, we are set up. We are set up pretty good. So, first night, what was that? What did we have? Nathan initially planned to cook kebabs, because when we go cooking, I don't cook. Uh, I can't reach that stove. So when he 
put that stove in place I turned around and went that's too high for me uh, I won't be cooking off that while we're camping and his response was well you don't cook when we camp anyway which is true he cooks and I do the dishes it's quite a good thing uh, to work it's a good way to work uh, we both know what we're going to do and like he'll do the he'll cook dinner we sit and eat and then he puts the kettle on the stove for me so it boils up water for the for the dishes anyway little technical thing of what how we set up because then once we've finished dinner he sits back and relaxes I do the dishes and put it all away uh, because when he goes camping I can tell that he doesn't wipe the stove down or any of that he's a crop uh, so we yep yeah, we had our dinner he was gonna cook his plan was kebabs and I talked him into just doing hot dogs type things so just sausages uh, and onion and all poured into just into a bread roll uh, there's a simple meal for the first night it's, it's pretty good uh, so we <laughs> while we were while, while dinner was being cooked we discovered that we had a little visitor um, somebody it looks like somebody had dumped this cat in the area or you know there was that's what it looked like but there's this black cat and he was a little bit timid but not um, we we actually did kind of feed him a little bit if we fed him it was lesser animals in the in the area um, but they, this yeah this feral cat was there um, and it's sad to see it sad to see a cat in that area for two reasons one it's been dumped but two if if you know it's the only thing that it can survive on is actually you know um you know just catching native birds and you know, and that which is a pretty big shame in itself So yeah, we had this cat that kept coming out and its its nose caught the scent of our cooking. <laughs> um, I think I gave it a bit of, a bit of my sausage uh, at the end of the night. <sighs> okay, so we, we well, used the, we had the shower, we had the pickers, we got the showers, we had the showers, we sat back and yacked, talked away listen to some tunes and basically chilled uh, and in the morning can't remember what time I think it was about seven o'clock which is very that's that's late uh, for us because uh, well because we're in a swag it's it goes over us it's completely black you can't see out um, however to get out of it you need to unzip two zips and then you've got to do those zips back up so every time Nathan got up through the night uh, he woke me with these zips oh my gosh uh, first night wasn't too bad second night different matter but yeah we got up in the morning got out of bed had our coffees and Nathan cooked bacon and egg for brick bacon and eggs for breakfast which is pretty good but now for me in the morning <laughs> I get a bit grouchy. <laughs> uh, how's that? I just, I do, I get grouchy. I just, in the morning, I like peace and quiet while I drink my coffee. Um, and one of the guys with us, um, his mouth doesn't stop. But basically in the morning, he bites his tongue. Um, so this first morning, he has just, sat there and had his coffee and you could see he was hanging to talk but he was he was respecting the fact that I like silence in the morning because <laughs> he's seen me in the morning when I haven't had silence and I will actually take my chair my coffee and disappear somewhere else <laughs> away from the campsite to get that silence um, so yeah on the first morning it was pretty good he was quiet Basically, I managed to get through half my coffee before 
uh, he couldn't not talk for much longer. And my God, he can talk. He can talk. <sighs> okay. Um, so yeah, we. One of the things with the way we are, um, we've got annexes and everything is attached to the four-wheel drive. So we basically have to roll up the annex and um, pack half of half of our gear up. Um, we leave behind the swag and the ensuite, and um, off we went four-wheel driving just to look at a few things and see what's around and well I mean we go camping and four-wheel driving the four-wheel driving is what the boys like the most um, well I don't know but we when we go away it's like they have to go four-wheel driving oops I've missed one of those Mr. T where's the T's uh, a three eight that was that one. Where's the T? There it is, 318. It's right there in front of me. Um, was that the one I saw I missed? Uh, so yeah, we went uh, four-wheel driving and I'll just put some pictures in here of where we went. Uh, just to zoom in of the map where we were as well so you can see that um, I'm not saying I'll put this picture here or I'll put this picture there but there's a few pictures in there of um, things we saw and we did oh, kangaroos were everywhere on one of one section in the morning um, so I popped some pictures in somewhere along here the kangaroos but basically we kept the way we went we kept going um, into coastline points uh, and so there's some beautiful pictures of what's along the coast um, yeah so that was the four-wheel driving was the first full day we did um, I suppose we only finished we stopped it we stopped uh, probably well, it wasn't full day I suppose we stopped about one o'clock uh, on the beach and I put bathers on and I put my four feet in the water and went that's as far as my feet are going I am not putting my body any further into this water it was icy cold um, basically the water from here is not as cold as Esperance but you're still getting it coming off the Antarctica so it is cold um, but we pulled out the annexes and the chairs and had lunch. Nathan made made me a sandwich. I made myself one too, a couple too, but yeah, made me a sandwich and yeah, we chilled. And I pulled my beach towel up out and I laid on the sand under the annex so I was in shade and fell asleep. <laughs> Well, the boys just talked and did whatever they were. They did bring their fishing rods with them uh, for beach fishing, but they didn't do many beach fishing. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, pardon me. Who goes a yawn? I think is that my first one for the for the recording. Um, but yeah, I woke up to them going, come on, time to go. The wind had picked up, so we had sand blowing everywhere. Um, so we basically, we got back things, gear back together and then went back to the camp. Um, and basically that was where we were for the, for the rest of the night, for the rest of the day, you know. Uh, we had showers. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed some of the pictures I've put up there so far. Now, on that night, the wind was so bad that um, the guys put up tarps. When I was having a shower, the, boy, the boys put up tarps to try and block some of the wind. And one of the tarps is just when the wind gets it. It's a pretty solid tarp, but it makes a crinkling sound and a thumping sound. And, oh, my God. 
we went to bed with the wind still blowing and the wind blew right through the night which uh, for you guys if you can imagine excuse me a night with wind blowing hang on I need to find my next symbol with the wind blowing holy cow okay this is uh, actually if I go to the side of the graph where is it? Uh, I know what I'm looking for. 799. Um, so, yeah, the wind blew bucket load, which, yeah, wasn't good. And then Nathan got up at least three times through the night. So every time he got up, I woke up from that. Um, and then I think it was like five in the morning five in the morning I cracked it <laughs> I turned around and said to him you know, I said I am not going to be getting out of a swag and dealing with a swag for four weeks it isn't going to happen <laughs> uh, yeah right cranky I was uh, and you could hear him huffing about it but he's having to he's churning through and trying to work out what to do and like we do have a tent um, you, know, you still have to deal with the zips but you don't have to deal with it being a tent being so close to you uh, just hang on I just want to check that top section You know, if I had my glasses on, I'd be able to see this. But yeah, and yeah, you can hear the brain churning on his head. Because, um, you know, when, you, when we go forward driving and we go camping with doing this big trip, we're going to be limited on space. Um, what we used to do when we camped, we had the six-man instant up tent. And we had a foldable bed frame, which we had a king size, uh, sorry, a queen size air mattress on, you know, and we camped in comfort I thought I'd be able to do the swag because we've slept in the swag before but yeah it was like I can't deal with him getting up in the middle of the night and jostling the swag around and I just knew I, I wouldn't get proper sleep and I did wake up cranky um, but yeah we, we were out of, out of our swag pretty early because of that um, and we were out before Nathan's mate one of Nathan's mates just is he, he's up early he gets up early for work he's up early um, okay just looking for the final ones of this symbol uh, and there Oops. So yeah, we had breakfast again and packed up the annex, packed up the vehicles and we were off again. Now this time it wasn't, well there was some four-wheel driving because there always is to get out of these areas. But we went to, um, oh I can't even remember the name. Where did we go? I can't remember where we went. Um, but we went towards Pemberton, I think it was Nanup or something like that, um, and towards uh, all the carry trees and that that um, the area is well known for. Okay. Next colour. Um, so yeah, we went uh, and uh, just drove yet again for ages um, but we ended up um, I'll put footage of it here of our drive we did um, four-wheel drive we drove along the beach uh, which is quite 
it's interesting. I I don't mind driving on the beach so long as I know where the exit point is, and we're not we're not trying to find an exit point. Uh, so if you drive on the beach and you can't find an exit point, you basically have to turn around and go back the direction you were. And I don't like having to do that because when you turn around, you've got to use up a fair amount of the beach to be able to do a, ter a U-turn. Um, so we were driving on the beach looking to find a place to, a section of, um, to get off, uh, to get to the dirt road and all of that, um, because you have tracks going off, off the beach toward onto the into the into the bush. Um, but because I didn't know, we didn't have a definite point that we were going to. It was just drive along the beach to find a spot to get out. Um, I mean, we could have used the way we came in, but they wanted to try another way. Um, but because of that, I oh. Yeah, it was a. I was a bit nervous on it. Um, the slam was a bit soft, uh, so yeah, I'll put yeah video footage of us on the driving along the beach. Um, in so you have a look at that. Um, yeah, but we went. We finally got found a spot and went into and got headed off driving along. I missed an event that happened on the first day, first full day. Um, yeah, but yeah, we were we went to the Cary Park, Cary uh, not park, but into a tourist park, a national park area, um, and uh, basically saw some really huge trees, and it was just amazing where we were, um, and when we came, yeah. So yeah, just enjoy the pictures. Uh, while I yabber on a bit more. Uh, there was a tree, a bicentennial tree, um, which you can climb up. And it goes in a spiral or round and up. Um, yeah, no, not for me. Um, my, <laughs> I know if I went up there I'd have jelly legs for one when I got back. Because <laughs> that would absolutely kill me to do. <laughs> Because I'm not fit, and I admit it. Yeah. Um, no more in that section. Okay. So from there, we did, we drove around a few different places. Um, yeah, there was yeah, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying these pictures. I'll keep saying it, but yeah. Um. We, okay, so I will go back to the day before. When four-wheel driving, if you don't have what they call sand flags or, or there's flags that you get, you attach them to your vehicle, they're really high and it helps people see that they're, you aren't there. Um, we have one, but we didn't take it with us and I actually wish we had uh, because going around the four-wheel drive tracks, there's generally only room for one vehicle and if you go around a bend too quickly you might come across another vehicle going around that same bend quickly and have a little bit of a a little bit of a meet <laughs> most of the time I've only come it's only happened once which is what happened this camp trip um, but what happened is um, Aaron's mate was going around a bend that way and then another vehicle was was coming around that way so you can't see each other and they've actually collided um, not big time because you don't go that fast when you're four-wheel driving but basically they've done a little bit of damage to the side of um, Nathan's mate's car four -wheel drive so yeah that was stop and a <laughs> stop and exchange details uh, license numbers, all of that for insurance because um, you now when you have accidents you, you've got to get them fixed somehow and you, we we pay pretty good car insurance uh, for the basis that hang on, looking for my next symbol oh excuse me oh there we go um 
we go on the basis that you know we we have insurance for four wheel driving so specifically to cover the fact that if we have a bingo while four wheel driving we're covered um, something happens you roll a vehicle or something like that you know you, your car's in um, yeah. sorry I've got an eyelash in my eye and I'm yawning oh crap Ola that was a bit special, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, they had that bingle. And then on this second day, we, we were, we came across some other eager four wheel drivers that uh, were very rude. Um, for four wheel drives, most people are pretty good, but these guys just, they were horrible on the road when they overtook us. Um, we stopped briefly for a moment so that basically I could find a quiet spot in the bush, if you understand what I'm saying there. Um, and then these guys actually came along um, and zoomed past us really quickly uh, while one of the guys had the driver's door open uh, and they flung up dirt and basically gravel. So it, it, they were they were dangerous idiots. A um, few words were exchanged. Uh, they there was a they scanned the radio to find us talking on the radio, and then they were off and arguing, and oh, it was horrible. Um, yeah, uh, we didn't see them again after that. What else? So yeah, on we went to it was Nana. It was Nana. I do believe it was Nana. Um, when we on the way back it was pretty uneventful. Just drove through an area. We drove the way we came out this time. Uh, so I when we went on the beach, I did know which direction we were going. I knew that we had an exit point. So I actually enjoyed the. The drive. Uh, however, uh, I'll put some video footage in here of driving on the beach, and you will see uh, where we got very um, bounced around a lot. Is probably the best way to put it. And now I recorded that on my not on my main camera, but I recorded on my mobile phone. Whoops and uh, yeah we just got bounced big time don't need that um, yeah bounced big time so hope hope you enjoyed that <coughs> um So yeah, we because that was a that was just about a full day, and we've gotten back to our camp, and yeah, had our showers. Well, actually, we were there for we got home, got back to the campsite reasonably early. Um, everything was still there, but it looks like so we have a a porta potty, you know, an ensuite where we have a portable toilet in there, which Nathan deals with, thankfully. Um, but we got back to our area and noticed that somebody had thrown bread and sausage into the bushes near where we were camped, and it looked like they'd stopped where we stopped. They'd stopped in the area where we were camped, but because we only had our swag and that, um, you know, weren't really too concerned. And I said to Nathan, "Oh, they're probably going to use that spot because they spotted the toilet." Um, but who knows? Um, they didn't take anything, so you know that's that's no issue. Um, when people go four driving out there, you, most people are respectful of the fact that you, know, you have a lot of gear with you, um, and everybody else when they go that with these places, they have a lot of gear with them, and they respect the fact that it, what it costs uh, to have everything that's needed. 
so you know nothing nothing gets stolen yeah or relocated from where you are would probably be the better way to put it um but yeah somebody had obviously been there because they they'd thrown this bread and a couple of sausages out um right near where we were uh so we went back into the guys pulled the vehicles into the, the spots and I turned you know I, I could see that our one of the guys sorry one of the guys was um, frustrated with the setup because Nathan had actually put the swag <coughs> under the awning and you know which was frustrating me as well and I turned around and said to Nathan this swag does not need to be under an awning it's designed to be out under the open uh, so we might as well move it from here and give us more space under the annexes. Um, so yeah, we moved it out from under the annex and it was much more comfortable um, sitting around that night because it wasn't all jammed in. Um, so yeah, I think before we did dinner, but while it was still light, if it was a case of having the shower, um, I have my shower, Nathan had his, and they were discussing the fact that uh, might be pretty close to running out of water, <laughs> uh, which they tapped the bottle, the, the story, water bottle, water storage, um, and went, yeah, it's pretty close. Um, one of the guys had his own shower, the other one didn't, so we, you know, we've got no objection, we share. So he was... <laughs> He basically had enough water on him to see so he, the way you shower in there so you don't use so much water. You spray water on, then you lather up, and then you rinse everything off. Um, so basically he sprayed himself and got wet, and then was lathering up, and then went to turn the water on and discovered that the water had run out. <laughs> so he's sitting, standing inside this annex, um... Yeah, inside this annex all soaked up and he can't come out so we've had to we've borrowed we've gotten some water out of the other guy's water tank and then yeah put it filled it up and that, uh, that was a quite quite an interesting process that the boys did um, then the guy that we got the water from he went to have a shower and his hose burst on his shower so he wasn't able to actually have his shower so Nathan's like well we borrow water from you you might as well use our shower and our ensuite our you know, shower cubicle um, I just found one that I missed <coughs> so he yeah went and had, had a shower in our shower so everybody was all smelling nicely again thankfully <coughs> I'm gonna have to do it I wasn't going to but I'm gonna do the arrow down which is one five nine <coughs> excuse me um, so yeah and then we had dinner I can't even remember Oh, we had pork, marinated pork chops for dinner that night. The second night we actually had uh, kebabs, um, not kebabs, but meat on the stick. I don't know what you guys call it. Um, yeah, so we had that for dinner. And then, yeah, the last night we had pork chops and salad, you know. We don't, we don't rough it. We do take a, we take a, we have a fridge. Um, and then, yeah, we sat back and yeah, and had a, a good time for the for the night. <coughs> Just sitting back and talking again, uh, talking about the day. Uh, and I got up and went. I've got to go to bed. I'm tired. I've had enough. Just about in need of new batteries in this thing. Um, and then in the morning, so wait, like in the morning, Nathan makes the coffees. 
uh, which is yeah, because so then when I get out of bed, I have a coffee. Then the sooner I have my coffee, the sooner I will talk to people. <laughs> yeah, um, gotta have that coffee. Um, <clears throat> so Nathan's made a coffee, but when we go somewhere, when we the day we pack up, even before I have my coffee, I will actually start. <clears throat> um, basically packing up so I pack up the bed um, while well, Nathan makes a coffee pack up the swag he does help me roll the swag because I can't roll it myself um, but we roll up swag and, and then um, once the swag's rolled up it's a case of I'll sit and have breakfast and then we continue to break camp uh, as soon as breakfast is over and pack up and go so yeah we um we broke camp, had everything packed up, left the area exactly as we found it, probably with a little bit of um, trampled grass, uh, and the cat probably fed a little bit better. Just looking for more arrow down. Can you, uh, I can't, don't know if you can see it. No. Um, I've got arrows up, down, and across, left and right in this one which is horrible to work with I hate arrows arrows are horrible and darn pain um, just as well I don't work, work side work my canvas sideways so yeah we packed the camp and we went and we left but we went uh, via the beach again um, which I was okay with because we, yeah, we'd done it already <laughs> I was happy with it and I knew we had a point where we would be getting off the beach um, and back onto well, back onto the well, the tracks, I suppose you could all you could call them. Um, <clears throat> so another bit of footage there on the way way back. Um, there, I will put a, a picture of some a sad sight while we were driving along. Um, we noticed something in the water and stopped and it was actually a beached whale so it was just one whale it wasn't like a pod or anything like that it was just one beached whale a minky whale so not very big probably I suppose one and a half times my height I'm um, not you know so minky whales aren't that big but it's a sad thing to see <coughs> but at least it was only the one um, had it been a pod, that's something that we would have, um, if it was a, so, so this minky whale was, it was dead, there was no denying it was dead, but if we'd come across, say, a pod and they're all, that one was a what live, we would have had to do everything we could to get it back in the water, um, so that it could, you know, swim away, but yeah, it was, it was already dead, we couldn't do anything to help it. Um... Yeah, so it's a sad sight to see. But that's nature. That's the way it is. Um, so yeah, so that was it for the camping trip. We were on our way home. Came across a minky whale. We got off the beach. Um, one of the things we do with four-wheel driving is airing down and up the tyres. So... To four-wheel drive, you need you have to have less air in your tyres, and when you're on the road, you need quite a bit of air. So um, we air down, and you know we got there and we aired up. So we put the air compressors on, and um, yeah, got the um, tire. We blew up the tyres, so we get on the road. Uh, while we. Were <laughs> mm. The same mate that our, that Nathan had that had the bingle, where he was parked, a tree dropped its branch, and I shouldn't be laughing, but a tree dropped its branch straight through the roof of his canopy. So he's had a bingle with the front end of his car, and now his canopy was ruined and had, you know, had to be fully replaced. Mm. He wasn't happy. 
Um, but you know, took photos so that for the insurance to say, well, this is what happened for all driving. You know, it's not something that you know it was an accident. So, uh, yeah, his insurance company. He'll be making a few phone calls too. He's probably already done it and sorted out. And uh, yeah. Oh, I missed him. No, no, that's an F. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so we <laughs> aired up tires and got the branch out of Aaron's canopy um, I will show some pictures of where we like us airing up and airing down um, and that way you, you also see the vehicles that we're, we're traveling in to understand what we're saying we're you know with the canvas with the canopy um, yeah Oh, we aired up and we we're on our way heading home um, and you know like we're going on dirt roads to get home not tracks but actual dirt roads to get to the main roads obviously and one of the dirt roads that we went on uh, we had a tree had fallen over so in the place of in a space of three days because this is a road we've been on to come in in the space of like three days when we say it happened the night we had that really big wind um, a whole tree had blown over and was blocking the road um, so we looked at it for a little bit and it was like oh well we can get the four wheel drivers four wheel drives and winch it across and get it out of the way um, Nathan's like I've got a little axe we might be able to chop it um, long story short we ended up doing a u-turn and finding another way to go <laughs> uh, yeah so we added a little bit of time on our, our trip but yeah it was wasn't too bad um, and then uh, coming back coming back was horrible uh, arrows up now um, because it was a public holiday there's a lot more people on the road so we were oh, got to be careful with that arrows Hang on. Um, so the road got was getting pretty busy um, and we went we we're gonna we didn't know whether we we're gonna stop at a service center or not um, uh, and we well one of the guys decided not to he was Heading, he was going to go straight home and the other guy was yeah we'll stop so we stopped I had we stopped at the same place well basically the same place but on the other side of the road so it was the same restaurants um, and I just had a sausage roll Nathan had a couple of pies other guys had I think he had a pie as well uh, and then off we went and we got to a certain point where um, we go right and he continues forward um, got on two way and you know, said our farewells and thanked him, thanked him for coming with us and all of that uh, so that was our trip um, I will have some footage all sorts I'll put whatever video footage because I've got some video footage some's not that very clear because uh, we get bounced around um, the trees I suppose the trees the size of the trees was amazing and there was also some um, pool, what they call pools which is basically where uh, not not a lake but just a pool of water an area an area where the water builds up um, with a river going through it um, some beautiful stuff to see there um, so I think that was about it for our trip uh, this is was it was a good trip uh, but you know was very realistic and turned around and said to Nathan I can't do four weeks in a swag um, so I mean, on our way back we were talking about it um, what we'll do we'll take the tent um, and a self-inflating air mattress a self-inflating mattress 
um, and, and yeah and that should be a lot better uh, dare say we'll have to do one more camping trip to make sure that that works um, but basically there will be no more there's probably he was, he's going to do one more trip um, but I very much doubt that I'll do another trip um, before we go away for a bigger bigger trip um, yeah so I mean our big trip is uh, basically summer June July August um, to Karajini Wolf Creek Crater uh, we'll be I will be sharing footage of that while we're away I think I'll see see how we go work out how to do it um yeah so that was the camping trip you know we came home we got home uh dog was happy to see us the cat was happy to see us um so we when we go away my son comes around to the house and he stays at the house and looks after the animals for us and you know he gets all the good stuff <laughs> he gets netflix he gets stan he gets um amazon prime all these different pay pay tv subscriptions that he gets to enjoy when he's here um and he gets some quiet time as well to himself uh, but by the sound of it i don't think he had much quiet time <laughs> uh but yeah he was very good to look after the animals for us and he will be looking after the place when we do the big trip um but yeah i think that's yeah we basically got everything out of the out of the four-wheel drive um all the bedding everything that needed to be washed just got thrown in the laundry um, because my job on the tuesday after we camp like that is sleeping bags everything that was taken gets washed uh, before it's put away um, and there we go there we go so i will leave it there how much of my head oh no you didn't get much of my head this time um i will leave it there and hopefully you have uh, enjoyed the chat um i will be <clears throat> this afternoon this uh, what I'm planning to do this afternoon is I'll be doing a kitting up and then after the kitting up I will actually do another video on the storage containers um, at the moment that's something at the moment <clears throat> I'm not ordering anything um, hang on while I get my travel app so for us, if I, I'm just going to show you a difference in currency. If I purchase something for $30 at the moment, um, I'll pop that up there. There we go. So if I actually put, uh, where we go? It's going to focus was this one better okay here we go down the bottom screen if I per spent 30 US dollars for something at the moment it cost me a 46 Australian 23 pound British pound or 26 euro um, at the moment I am NOT purchasing anything online because um, the price of things because the Aussie dollar is so bad at the moment the price of things is um, nearly but nearly basically one and a half times what you'd be paying in the US is what I'm paying um, and I actually can't <clears throat> justify buying anything online when the price is so so different uh, you know the yeah to buy a canvas it's $30 I'm going to be paying $46 so there's a big big um, price pricing at the moment for the Aussie dollar being so low um, so it's just going to be working on stuff that I do have and um, yeah that's uh, I mean uh, yeah so there's 
no purchasing going but I do have some stuff I need to kit up um, and plenty to keep me going on other ways but um, I will say guys thank you for watching uh, give me a thumbs up thumbs down um, leave me a comment how do you think you'd go sleeping on a swag I might actually put a picture of it, one of these swags a close up picture so you can see what they're actually like how would you go on the slat swag um you know we do have hot running water for our showers while we're away so it's not like we go without a shower and we have a toilet uh, so we have all of that um yeah so yeah guys if you want to keep tuned in my i will say as of right now hang on let's have a look my subscription count right now is actually 943 so getting closer to um, the magical thousand um, and yeah so yeah um, so yeah please subscribe get me up to that thousand that's if you're still watching this at this stage um, and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I um, do an upload and I just realized that I didn't mention one thing. You probably have already seen it. That finger, I broke my fingernail. Um, and at the moment I'm waiting for the tip to heal before I get go and get my nails done. So they need to be done again. Um, but I'm still waiting for the tip of my finger to heal because it was a really nasty break um, before I get my nails done. So yeah, they're coming. I'll get them fixed up. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.